This time, all explain Kote against an opponent who raises their hands to avoid attacks. It is an application of men faint to Kote. We often see Sensei in the All Japan Championship and from the MPD performing Kote in the line of men. Many Sensei from the MPD perform straight Kendo in an unbroken stance. There are relatively few instances where the left hand rises or the Shinai points downward or to the side. In particular, I believe a swing with a vertical line is very powerful and a threat to the opponent. For example, since men is also a vertical swing, the opponent can become afraid and raise their hands. Imagine the transition made from the vertical line to Kote for striking Kote. This time, a video was taken from the view of Moto Dachi. The hand was up and interfered with the camera, so some parts are hardly visible. But the view from the side was also taken, so it's easy to visualize the Kote. Hope you'll see it to the end. The key focus point is whether it looks like the line of men. Kote is performed from the line of men so that the opponent raises their hands. This won't work if it doesn't look like the line of men. Does it look the line? At the same time, the starting point. If the starting point is too far, the opponent won't be afraid and won't raise their hands. Look for the best ma'ai for striking the opponent so that they will raise their hands. Next, how to move your feet. A video of the feet movement was taken from the side. Watch how they move. Finally, the hands. As to how the hands are moved, while moving forward, you try ko te uchi. Especially in a match, you need to try ko te uchi during the opponent's offense and movements. Watch how the arms are bent and stretched. Let's watch. See again in slow motion. The practice was performing Kote against an opponent who raises their hands, and firmly striking against the point. Sorry, the video from the view of Moto Dachi interfered with the hand, so you can only see the line of men. I hope you can see the timing strategies and how men looks, which you cannot feel only from the side. This is the first point that I think about. That is, making sure that the strike looks like it follows the line of men. Make sure to check the trajectory each time you practice the technique. Ask your opponent, does it look the line of men? Practicing with intent will allow you to communicate with your partner saying things like, the ma I is too far so it doesn't look like the line of men. Or, it looks like the line of men, but the swing is too big and there's a gap. The practicing partners can notice these things. So, communicate with each other and check whenever you are practicing the technique. The second point is striking with Ken Saki, the tip, if at all possible. Your instructor often would say, strike between Ken Saki and Nakaji Me, the middle tie, of Shinai with Mo no Uchi. I personally think that this Kote Uchi can easily be made sharp by striking with Ken Saki. 
I will post an image of the actual moment of striking. You can see that Ken Saki of the Shanai hits well. The third point is the line after striking. Kote Uchi is performed straight from above. Do you see what happens? That bounces upward. Imagine a bouncy ball. If it's dropped directly down from above, it'll bounce off the ground. The same principle applies. While the opponent's hands are up, move your left hand like inserting it sideways and strike. I believe the line after the strike should be horizontal or diagonally down. If a bouncy ball hits the wall, it will not go straight up. It usually bounces sideways. If it gains momentum, it'll go sideways or diagonally down because of gravity. Similarly, if you strike the side, draw a line directly horizontal or diagonally down. Bounce sideways or diagonally down. What does it take to do that? It is not a matter of being conscious of the line of the shinai after striking, but rather the application of force to the strike. If you strike a vertical swinging kote uchi, the opponent's hand goes up and your shinai turns sideways. You see hand moving up, so you swing wide and hit with the side of the shinai. The shinai then goes straight up, gets caught by the opponent's shinai, and fails to score ipon. The instructor may warn you to not strike from the side. So you have to watch your strike trajectory. If you master how to move your left hand, you will be able to strike with a vertical ha suji properly and strike more powerfully with the tip of the shinai. You can utilize the bounces I mentioned earlier the sideways bounce and the diagonally downward bounce. As for the first demonstration, a two-step, men feint and kote uchi, shown for clarity. Next, kote uchi in the line of men, and in a series of movements. See again in slow motion. In the first video of the view of Moto Dachi, the hands weren't raised much, so we're able to see the line of men and the strike. Second and third video show a Kote Uchi where the arms up high. Which video shows more sharpness? I felt that the second video shows a little bit of float in the trajectory. The third video shows a firm, sharp strike. By comparing the way the view seen from the side and the opponent, Please research which looks like the line of men and which looks like Epon. The striking timing is better in the third video. Second video shows a Kote Uchi where the hands fully up. Third video shows a Kote Uchi while the hands go up. It is interesting to watch the speed as well while comparing the difference in timing. As to the line drawn after Kote, the third video shows it's firmly drawn diagonally down. The tip is that in the second video. The strike just bounces, but in the third video, if you research Kote Uchi by Mr. Nishimura, who won the All Japan Championships too, the left hand moves forward after the strike. 
This makes a smoother Kotei Uchi and allows you to pull faster, so you're not caught up in May score and Ipon. See again in slow motion. Finally, deflect to Kote. In the video, I said, don't snap, do like this. I don't think this is the best explanation in Kendo. Simply put, strike Kote Uchi while simultaneously suppressing and deflecting the Shinai. Instead of snapping the Shinai from a distance, simultaneously suppress and deflect it at the moment of contact and strike. The opponent's hands are more likely to rise up when they are suppressed. This video shows a Kote Uchi done so the opponent raises their hands. Did you notice anything done incorrectly? The center of gravity is on the left at the moment of Kote Uchi, and the player has bent over to strike. This happens unconsciously, meaning that it has become a habit. It needs to be fixed consciously. How was my explanation? This time, I explained Kote Uchi against an opponent who raises their hands. I've shown three points to consider. First, the line of men. Second, strike with the tip of Shinai. Third, the trajectory of the Shinai and how to use the left hand. In addition, I'm conscious not to bend over to left if at all possible. I'm certain that my speed is slower than in my active years, so I need to train hard. Even though I'm not a player anymore, I need to pass on Kendo. I want to do my best. Hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.